Join me, 48 Hours Correspondent Erin Moriarty, on my podcast, My Life of Crime, as I take on true crime investigations like no other. This season, I'm looking into the labyrinth of crime and secrets within families. I'm cutting straight to the evidence and talking to the people directly involved, including investigators and the families of victims. Listen to My Life of Crime with Aaron Moriarty wherever you get your podcasts. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to KNOW Waco. I am your host, Debbie, here to help you get in the know about Waco. This episode, we're going to be highlighting some summertime activities and events to do around town, specifically featuring activities to keep you entertained and engaged through these long summer days. So beat the heat and the boredom with this week's activities. (laughs) Up first is a community barbecue and back-to-school picnic hosted by the Waco Family and Faith International Film Festival and Extraco Banks. This event is Friday, July 31st from 5.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Located at Extraco Bank at 1700 North Valley Mills Drive in Waco, Texas. Come out for free food, films, and backpacks. This free barbecue dinner will be available for dine-in and drive through pickup. Their crew is getting ready, and they will have hamburgers, hot dogs, and sausage wraps available for pickup through the drive through To celebrate the start of the 2021 season, they'll be playing films on the lawn from their 2020 finalists. So go join them. They can't wait to see you. The safety of the public is one of Waco Family Faith and Film Festival's highest priorities, so they will be taking the highest precautions in COVID-19 safety, including social distancing. Up next is the Friday night specialty dinner at Lighthouse Coffee in partnership with Barnett's Pub. This Friday from 7 to 10 p.m., you can reserve your spot online at www.barnettspublichouse.com slash specialty dinner. Barnett's will be having their specialty dinner this Friday night at Lighthouse Coffee and Wine, which is located at 624 Washington Avenue. The food will be available for dine-in, delivery, or pickup, and the dinner will consist of four courses. Up first is course number one, with a burrata salad. Course number two is a boar's medallion, with zucchini. For the third course, there will be venison tenderloin or mahi-mahi with scalloped potatoes and succotash. Last but not least is course number four, a biscotti with lemon curd and blackberry foam. Don't miss out on this delectable delight and drive on up and get a bite. On behalf of Barnett's Public House, as well as a lot of our other local breweries, I want to remind you that right now, more than ever, local craft breweries are in need of your help to stay open and afloat. During the pandemic, many local and well-known craft breweries across all of downtown Waco have suffered greatly. So don't forget to grab a drink downtown and support your local breweries. Next, we'll be featuring the pop-up programs at the Waco Mammoth National Monument. These programs will be offered from 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., and 2 p.m. from Friday, July 31st until August 2nd. Waco Mammoth National Monument at 6220 Steinbeck Bend Road in Waco. You can join their National Park Rangers for informal pop-up programs throughout the day. Pop-up programs are short, on-demand informational sessions and programs that range from 5 to 10 minutes. These topics will include Our Amazing Sun, The Odyssey of Ologies, Learning Through Citizen Science, Missing Pieces, Mammoths and Elephants, and many more engaging programs. These pop-ups will be located in the park's amphitheater, and there's no cost for admission. Speaking of some elephants and some mammoth-sized fun, the Cameron Park Zoo is holding an aluminum can drop-off. This Saturday, August 1st, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., the Cameron Park Zoo is asking for donations of aluminum cans that will be given to the local recycling center. The money received from recycling the cans will be given to the zoo's enrichment fund. The enrichment fund ensures that animals at the zoo have adequate enrichment and toys. There will be blue bins located in front of the plaza for you to deposit your cans in. The zoo would also like to remind people that only to bring in aluminum cans, such as soda cans or beer cans, and not soup cans, because those are often made of tin or other materials that cannot be recycled. So stop on by and throw your cans in the bin to help some animals have some fun. Up next is the Heart of Texas Super Show and Cruise. Make plans this weekend to attend a Texas-sized car show and hydraulic contest hosted by Passionate Rides Car Club and Wicked Customs Auto. Not to mention, Auto Accessories Waco will be there this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. This will be a full day of fun, including hot cars, trucks, bikes, live music, inflatables, food sales, and even other vendors. This annual Heart
Heart of Texas Super Show event attracts the best of the best in all of the surrounding area's car enthusiasts, showing what they have proudly built over the years, and also they're honored to be a part of the WEGO tour as a double point stop. Tickets are $10 and children under 10 are free. Concluding the event, everyone's invited to join in for the traditional Saturday night cruise and hangout on the valley. After the show, so come on and cruise over. It's the basics of digital drawing and illustration with the Art Center. You can join art expedition artist and art educator Christina Brown live on Saturday, August 1st from 11 to 12 p.m. for an introduction to the basics of digital drawing and illustration using Procreate, hosted by the Art Center of Waco. You can register to receive a Zoom invite for this fun, hands-on, and interactive online art class. This class is recommended for emerging, seasoned, and traditional artists ages 13 all the way to adult. The tickets are $30 or $25 for members, and you can inquire at info at artcenterwaco.org for a code. Equipment is needed. You will need an iPad and the Procreate app, and preferably also a stylus, but it's not mandatory. Procreate is just a one-time purchase of $9.99, and you will definitely get your creativity flowing. Up next is the Golden Sound of the Platters tribute show happening at the Hippodrome on Saturday, August 1st from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. The world-famous Platters tribute will be forming their classic musical hits and will have all come to treasure. Join this legendary musical group as they carry on their romantic tradition and perform their renowned musical hits of the 50s and 60s. An evening spent with the world-famous Platters is all that it will take to help countless audiences fall in love all over again. This distinctive group's timeless melodies will take you back to a time of innocence, a time with blunt songs and romantic ballads. The world-famous Platters perform numerous celebrated hits with the same intense passion as their legendary roots, the Platters. Up next is the summer virtual workshops with creative writing and acting from Wild Imaginings. This camp is to take place from August 3rd to 7th, starting 9 a.m. online. This is great for all ages that can read and write. Our target audience age would probably be around 8 years old to 18 years old. The focus of this workshop will be poetry and short story, how to brainstorm, structure, and complete creative works that express the author's intent. There will be an hour and a half of virtual instruction each day, Monday through Friday, and it will be during this time that the writings are shared and lessons are taught. Groups will be kept small, and there will be no more than six to eight participants in each camp. Groups will be determined by age and availability. In addition to the hour and a half of the in-person virtual instruction each day, there will also be work assignments between each day for each of the participants to complete, including outlines, writing projects, and etc. The amount of time spent outside of the virtual meetings will approximately be another hour and a half. The workshop instructor will be available to answer any questions between sessions. This is a great opportunity to help your wild kids start imagining. Last but not least, I couldn't leave off this episode without mentioning the free COVID-19 testing happening here in McLennan County. The Waco-McLennan County Office of Emergency Management, the Waco-McLennan County Public Health District, and the Texas Division of Emergency Management are partnering together to offer free COVID-19 testing sites throughout the months of July and August, all throughout McLennan County. There will be three walk-up sites and two drive through sites. All sites will be free. If you suspect that you may have the coronavirus, you are definitely encouraged to be tested. In order to participate in the drive through testing, you must first register. Walk-up tests require no registration. There is, however, a limit of 600 tests per day per location. For a full document with the testing information, you can find it on my social media as well as my Facebook account. And that's all for this week, Waco. Thank you for tuning in to this week's podcast. This is your host, Debbie, signing off. Now that you know, go! Just go, Waco! This has been Rogue Media Network Podcast.